Bonjour. For our first visit, I'm going to take you to my friend Sandra. Now she lives in a tiny hamlet close to Samurai, which is about 60 kilometers from my place. And she is going to show us around her part of rural France. And apparently, she has a surprise for us. So, on your map. And so, off we go. Almost there. My name is Leon and in 2016 I left Cape Town, South Africa to come and live here in the French countryside. On the way to our surprise village, Sandra stops to recycle. Here you can recycle clean and dry clothes, linked pairs of shoes, household linen and small leather goods like handbags or belts. I will... We have our bottle. All the bottles over there. And then we've got all the general rubbish. Mm, very important in France because your, your rubbish bin gets weighed and you pay per weight. And this is what each Frenchman must do. Right, we're going to pass through Bourganeuf, founded in the 12th century. And in the distance you can see the famous Zim Zim Tower. Walking up to the tower, which was built to accommodate the prisoner Prince Jim Sultan, nicknamed Zim Zim. Here we are at the tower, built in the 15th century. Hmm. Here's the entrance. Let's have a look what's inside. Hmm. Pretty dark. The prince who was imprisoned here apparently made false claims to the Ottoman Empire. Now this empire controlled much of southeastern Europe Western Asia and Northern Africa between the 14th and the early 20th centuries. Oh, they definitely made sure that he couldn't escape. Interesting fact about Bourganeuf is that it was the third place in all of France to get hydroelectricity. It's a pity we can't spend more time here, but I'm quite curious about the surprise village. Sandra and I cannot resist a brook hunt, so we had to make a quick stop. Let's go inside and see what's in Alibaba's tavern. Ah, here's an old Citroën Nepatouche. Do not touch. Lots of, of old radios. Mm. Wow. And lots of rubbish in between.
even an old champagne bottle and lots more radios <laughs> some old rusted stuff outside hmm oh I think Sandra has found something for a garden yes I'm more interested in the mirrors though Lots of old portraits. I like the way that he exhibits his stuff. Mm, nice old pewter work. Ah, I think I've spotted a hidden gem. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, not so beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, I like this table. How much? 120 euros. Mm, stunning, stunning. Too large to fit into my car though. Lots of blankets for the winter. Ah, <laughs> I don't think this cutie is either for sale or stuffed. Ah, eventually we've arrived at uh, the surprise village, Suparsa. Only a uh, hundred and fifteen inhabitants. 20 kilometers from Burganov. We are now approaching the church, L'Eglise de Suparsa, which has parts dating from the 12th century, but uh, after a fire, apparently it, it was reconstructed between 1868 and 1869. Uh, now, every village has a beautiful church, so I don't think this is the surprise. Uh, I'm going to follow Sandra and uh, see. Maybe the surprise is inside. Although picturesque on the outside, it is what's on the inside that's amazing. The inner walls are covered with murals depicting the Old and the New Testament on opposite sides of the church. The painter Gabriel Chaparra created these modern frescoes in bright colors from 1986 till 1990.
that was amazing. What a hidden gem. Phew. So we did the pergola, my husband and I. And then we resurrected all of this. This was all built by us. It's a winter garden, you know. Things are a little bit left on their own devices. And uh, I like to use all the natural plants coming up. And I leave them and make them a bit tidy. But in springtime, they look absolutely stunning. And I didn't plant a single thing. So, all of these stones we dug out of our garden and we built dry stone walls. And then I can go up my little steps that we pulled up here. Trying to create a garden that doesn't need water. So I had a natural source. And now the source is dried up. So I'm planting grasses like the rest of the world now. We're going into Barofskias, grasses, rosemaries, things that grow. But I don't have to really look after And underneath here is the barn's roof. So we're standing on the barn's roof because the barn burned down and we thought we will just have to reutilize this area. And there's our little French patio. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you really love the video, you can buy me a kir by clicking on the link below. A la semaine prochaine.